So our gaming room is starting to come along quite nicely. I thought I would just kind of show you guys some of it, give you a update to it, show you all some of the things I've added and the direction that we plan on going. So make sure to leave me a like. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching and here we go. So I wanted to put the PlayStation somewhere and I wanted it to look cool so I added the RGB and then the thing on top is a one terabyte hard drive. We've already did a video on this which you guys should go and check out. And then this is where I store a lot of my computer stuff. Um, majority of it's stored down there. I just got those in the mail the other day and put them together and stuff. Um, the computer, that's not going to be there very long. Our new computer will be there. We'll build that and go from there. And then over here I've added this gaming in progress sign, which I really like. The plant, the lights, the foam, all that good stuff. And of course, you know I guys, I like the color blue. I got my blue sphere up there. Here, let's turn the lights back off so you can see it. Oh, now it's turning green. It's pretty cool. The overexposure on it's crazy. See how it kind of overexposed it. Up there is my uh, Star Wars. And then of course we have our whole comic book collection and stuff that I decided to frame and put on the wall. And then over here, this is where we got the Ant-Man, the Batman, the Wasp. Uh, I got a head. And then my name, Don, spelled out like that. Up there, there's a blue light glow that comes from it. See the blue light glow? And then, of course, we store more parts, more computer stuff. That's a smell good scented candle over there that's burning. You know, I just keep a lot of stuff on here these are originally bookshelves that I put against the wall I thought it would be better if it was against the wall <clears throat> you guys all know about my mic I did a I did a video on that not too long ago about the Strix mic um, one of the complaints that I had about this desk was there was no place to clamp a microphone now yes you could push you know clamp it to the front and then put your monitor there but the, the setup that I'm using, as you can see, see I added sound foam back there, but as you can see, there it wouldn't work. There's no room from the monitor to the desk, there's no room for the boom arm to go to. So it just wouldn't work. Um, I still need to hook up the, the two monitors on either side, that's what those black spots are. Here, I'll turn the light back on. Um, I still definitely need to hook those up. Now, the big TV, this is a 42 inch TV, it's hooked to the PlayStation and it's hooked to the computer so that way I can switch in between and then over here on this side I have the PlayStation where is it at down there hooked and then look if I plug it in if I turn it on I have it hooked to a mat so that way that mod mat will go on and it'll turn purple like that that's pretty cool right so it kind of looks like this so that's what it looks like. That's pretty cool, right? And then I just turn the TV on, and the TV's on wheels, so that way I can maneuver it and stuff. Um, once again, this microphone is split. Uh, one to the computer and one to, uh, well, to the PlayStation, if I can get it wired up. But anyway, I was talking about how I couldn't get the mic to hold. So I bought this bracket here, that bracket that you see right there. It clamps to... A typical tripod and then I use sandbags to hold the tripod down and what it does is it allows the mic see I can pull the mic toward me woo, move it away from me whatever I want to do and it works perfectly so you may have noticed this over here in the corner this is my new PlayStation 3 uh, god it looks overexposure on this man looks crazy maybe I can turn it down some let's see here how's that now let's see if we can let it focus of course not it won't focus but there you go you can kind of see it a little bit better there and then we added the the gamer which is what that is right there we added that gamer sticker on there and the area 51 and 
all the posters and stuff. Now, enabled to hang this TV from the ceiling, I had to go up in the attic and drill down through the stubs and actually add a secondary stub to it. Y'all know y'all like my dual plasma balls. They're just sitting there chilling. Just uh, streaming and glowing. I like it. All my main, all my main cable management and stuff. Um, I still got to cut those, and I try to run it the best I can. Although I still, of course, I still have a little more cleaning up to do. But I don't want to clean it up because we're going to unhook mainly a lot of it and hook it to the new computer. Plus, I have the stereo system that I have to add. Here, let me show you all this. This is pretty cool. I just added this today. You open it up, and voila! Can you see what's in there? There's a power strip in there. Here, let me turn the light on. There we go. See? Power strip in there. And it has USB to it, so that way I can plug stuff in and out and close it. And you never know it's there. So, basically... Oh, shit. I forgot to show you all that. That's my portrait on the wall. I painted that wall black, and then I put up that portrait. It's a canvas portrait, and it looks really cool. Uh, let's see here. That's the door to my outside and then here's this thing we already discussed all that of course I have a I have a table but it's extremely full with stuff and then I double foamed the back of the door because the idea here let me show you this I know I got so much stuff in my room it's utterly ridiculous right now okay so the idea is to basically have the game room look like this. Here you go, nice zoomed out shot of the gaming room. Oh, and I forgot, I did add these blue neon lights that go around it. You wanna see what those look like? Let's see here, let's slide that out. There we go. So, that runs up. And around, through, down, I'll turn off the light so you can see it better. There you go, like that. See that? And it lights it all up. Isn't that cool? I added that too. So that definitely adds some awesomeness. Because I've just got another box of it. And it's going to continue down along and then run along the back side and then go all the way around the room. So, our gaming room is definitely in progress, y'all. But, damn, that's a lot of overexposure of blue. Whew, too much blue. We'll turn that down. Uh, I usually turn that on when I don't have anything else lit up in the room. And those LED tube, that light that runs around, it puts out a lot of heat. I was really surprised by how much heat it puts out. So, here is my four monitor and... A TV or three monitors and two TVs however you want to look at it. basically this is my gaming room I hope you guys like it uh, I just kind of wanted to walk y'all through some of this stuff and show y'all there's another portal right there on the wall you see it's like you're going into space and stuff here let me turn it back on for you see it's like that one and then you have this one on the wall which is pretty cool so I went with like a space theme like here okay space space dark and blue black and blue paint and then over here is all like the comics and stuff to add to it and then it just keeps going and then it goes like that so and then oh yes I forgot about this thing check this out watch boink isn't that cool it puts out a blue light see it it makes the room blue too so I also added that to a feature as well so I hope you guys like my gaming room. This is my, well, my main gaming room. This is where I spend most of my life, even though my wife wish I didn't. But, you know, a lot of time and money goes into a lot of this stuff. I have a lot of fun doing it, and I have a lot of fun showing you guys it. Um, this isn't the final, though. Once we get our new computer put in, and we get the stereo system put in, and we get a couple more things lightened and wired up, we're going to be good. So I hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe, leave a like. And as always, thank you for watching. Check out some of our other videos, guys. If you're new, consider subscribing. There's tons of videos out there for me. I mean, I've made almost 300, over 300 videos now. 
So there's definitely enough out there for you guys to check out. And if you're looking for another channel to watch, I recommend Neeb's Gaming channel, Vehar Hysterical. I've been a big fan of their channel for years now, and I think you guys should check them out if you're into uh, gameplay and comedy and stuff. It's, it's quite funny and entertaining. But I'm out of here. Thank you for watching, and y'all be cool.